you want to know how you get how you design the perfect image of Alaska skiing, perfect, amazing, sunny heli ski lines, is you go to a heli lodge and you book three weeks or a month there, and when the sun comes out, you stay out as long as you possibly can and you get it done. A lot of the people here don't really have that option and still manage to really get after it. We made it. Arctic Valley, we got a Pama slash T-bar and a double chair. <laughs> We're gonna get it. <laughs> so Arctic Valley, it was a military owned ski area, a quintessential mom and pop ski area. I mean, the day we were up there, how many people do you think were skiing on that day? Like maybe like 50 people skiing up there, 100 people skiing, like not a lot. And I mean, Anchorage is 300,000 people. It's kind of, it's a funky place. It's really cool. I love it. So the backcountry around there, it's often really nice like sunset skiing with incredible backdrops, beautiful scenery like of Denali and Four Acre and Mount Susitna and the, you know, the Tordrillos, you can see all that stuff. ourselves we were coming here for a year and we came here for a year 35 years ago <laughs> we live off the grid and have lived off the grid since we moved here um, the first two winters we had nothing we had like an AM radio and each other Cody was born um, May 18 1983 the day before my birthday funny it choked up <laughs> all these years later but it was just the most magic day of my life we didn't have a TV or any of that kind of stuff we had a, a desire to have them not be those guys that played Nintendo and that was one of the reasons we took Cody skiing in the first place I love coming back here. I feel more at home on the top of the mountains here than I do anywhere, for sure. I just understand them more, the shape of them. The snowpack, it all kind of just, it feels like home, I guess. It's like mom's dessert, <laughs> only skiing. <laughs> We're on a northwest aspect of Eddie's and Turnigan Pass. We're trying to ski a pretty big, pretty big run. Nothing super steep, but just want to make sure that the snowpack is good to go before we jump into anything. More pressure. That's in what there. I meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah before. I mean, yep. And then we got one little, little thing right there. Yeah, that's the, that's the spot. 
so we just had some less than ideal pit results. We we're getting ready to ski a pitch over here and it looks like it is not good today. So we are going to, uh, we're gonna back off of it and go ski back down a different aspect and make our way back to the vehicle. Hopefully ski some really awesome power back to the car. We're here in Serendipity, Alaska, in Thompson's Pass, north side. It's kind of a special little area here, and just surrounded by big mountains, kind of the north shore of, of skiing, really. There's not a single person that's out here that didn't buy land here because of Thompson's Pass and skiing and snowboarding, and you know, it's, it's a pretty incredible group of people. The time I was one year old, I was raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I really wanted to be kind of a, a, a mountain person. And Alaska was just mystical, and it was as far away from Tulsa as I could get. You know, I'm pretty sure I moved here in 96. I spent one season in Girdwood, but I kept coming on in the springtime. So I got to know Thompson's Pass and realized it's where I wanted to be. The following year, moved out, bought a cabin, and uh, it was great. I saw a picture of Valdez from, must have been like 12,000 feet in the wintertime and just buried in snow in this little bitty town. And uh, my wife at the time, we jumped on it, we moved to Valdez in October of 1979. You know, at the time, uh, there was, you know, heli skiing was a big deal. I mean, that's how most of us did hear about Valdez. You know, it was heli skiing, it was Doug Coombs, and it was, it was the movies, you know, and it's like, you look at the terrain, you really weren't reading any articles about ski touring Valdez. It just comes down to respect, and quite often you don't get it. Every single person that's hiked here has had a story of being landed on by a helicopter, you know, and it's just commonplace. You know, I don't acknowledge heli skiing at all. I really don't. I don't acknowledge it for, for, for anything but what it is. I can't think of any more freedom than climbing up a mountain on a pair of skis, you know, trying to get up as high as you can and, and ski in a good line. I really don't see why you need a helicopter to do that. In the utopia world, when I would go up to Thompson Pass, it would sound like Alaska, quiet Alaska, and, and lots of untracked terrain. That's my utopia. Since we've been here, it's definitely been variable. It's been hard to get done what we need to, but then when it pops out and is beautiful or is sunny, it's just unbelievable. Got a little weather window. We are in Hatcher Pass, Alaska, outside Palmer. We're gonna be skiing some freshy snow. Looks a little bit like kind of some dust on crust, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> That's my buddy Jeff over there. Are you psyched? I'm psyched. I'm always psyched. I'm psyched to be up here. It's like we got a sunny day. <laughs> yeah. Charlie's so semi-connected to about everyone, probably because he's just such a nice guy. Like everybody wants to be his friend because he's really easy to be friends with. <laughs> you wanna come sit with me? Oh.
you're thinking about Alaska, and, and I'm sure it's a, it's a reoccurring theme as you talk to people, is, is just the freedom. Freedom is right there. It's graspable. I never encourage people to move to Alaska. You should go where your heart makes you go, and you should make your dreams true wherever you go. And this is just where they came through for me. <laughs> I can see the excitement on people's faces when they come, and they're like, oh my gosh, we're in Alaska. This is so cool. I think the people who really come to Alaska and do well are the people who are kind of down for whatever. I think you have to be kind of you gotta, you gotta roll with the punches, and, and if you can, if you can roll with the punches, you could be really psyched to be up here.